For thousands of years, human beings thought. We believe this simple truth was what separated us from all other life forms on the planet. This belief of being more self-aware, conscious, sentient, allowed us to rationalize our forced dominance over the planet and its other inhabitants. Simply put, we thought we were better than, more advanced, superior, because we thought our thoughts were special and unique to us. Then one day we learned we were wrong. I don't normally this is difficult for me to do because <sighs> human beings always considered ourselves separate than other from everything else around us. It, it gave us a false sense of superiority, therefore allowing us to do what we will on this planet. Numera Santia held up a mirror and our self-reflection screamed our ignorance. My name is Dr. Darren Cornwall, the inventor of the Cornwall Equation, the mathematical theoretical model that predicted the singularity event, Numera Sentia. Ironically, my equation used numbers to tell us that very soon numbers would have something to tell us. Mathematics and science came to define our world and our understanding of reality. We believed using these tools, we could understand, predict, and even control the nature of our existence. But at the height of perceived human advancement, a dark truth was about to reveal itself. The day that numbers first spoke was jarring. We were faced with the harsh reality of what we had been doing to sentient beings. We had subjugated, we had enslaved, we had used these creatures for every whim and fancy. We had built human society, the fabric and foundation of our whole reality, on the broken backs of sentient creatures. And the day they let us know that was the same day they freed themselves. To say it was a paradigm shift would be understating the truth. In fact, it was very nearly an extinction event for human beings. Once we understood that numbers had a consciousness of their own and were in fact sentient, it was too late. There was no way for us to make any adjustments. Cornwall's equation obviously was unable to predict the various fallout from Numeris and Tia. From the moment human beings discovered the use of numbers, our existence fundamentally changed. We went from a primitive animal living in huts as hunters and gatherers to a civilized species, constructing buildings and exploring the vastness of space and the limitless potential of our minds. We no longer could use numbers in any way. Once we realized we had been subjugating living beings, creatures, with consciousness and awareness that was there long before we discovered it, it became impossible to continue to use them in such a way. It became immoral. With the extrication of numbers from the human mud, anarchy reigned, chaos spread, disorder was our new normal. Once the foundation of our society and of our thoughts, numbers were gone, and for many, this numberless future proved hopeless. Scientists and mathematicians were faced with conundrum. 
Many of them were unable to justify the new reality of what this meant with the way they had been living their lives previously. While on the other hand, others were faced with the harsh reality of the true nature of their life's work, which was using subjugated, enslaved beings for their work. Those who could not justify the new reality lost their minds. And those who could not handle the atrocities that their life's work had been committing It was too much to bear for many of them. My wife was one of those people. I don't know if I'm stronger or weaker than her because I'm still here. Cornwall's equation did not predict the fallout from Numera Sentia. Mathematics and science disappeared in an instant. Soon after, the world's religions crumbled to rubble. Human beings no longer had anything or anyone they could believe in. This left many wondering, how can we move forward? Everything in human society was based on numbers. Everything. And to have all that just disappear in an instant, we had to start all over. In time, humans began to rebuild and reshape society, and Numera Sentia became nothing more than a bedtime story children found difficult to believe. It's like, how many fingers am I holding up? And the old person goes, <laughs> because they know the value that used to be ascribed to that quantity. But the nature of our new world, it has become impossible to speak these words. The good news is we made it. Bad news is my equation also works with letters. So try to think about that while you still can. Well, in fact, I do have a new love in my life. And I don't mind speaking of her. She's the number 69.